Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with thelandgeek.com. Let's have a virtual cup of coffee to get together. So sorry, I'm, I'm running late this morning. Um, I had a paymentgeek.io call that went a little long, and then I was trying to get David Benalis, uh on to do like a little um, Q&A with me. Uh, we were having technical difficulty. So here we are, and hopefully um, – You'll still show up and and ask some questions for Coffee Talk. Um, we had a great roundtable discussion yesterday for the uh, podcast, which is coming out now on Tuesdays. And um, all right, Seth is here. Um, and, you know, we got some really cool tips uh, of the week and uh, really interesting. It's just the insight and what's been going on, you know, in the land business and hopefully everyone's going to get a lot of value out of it. And we're having a lot of fun. So um, if you didn't hear last week's uh, round table call, go and, and check out the art of passive income podcast. Um, it was, it's on Tuesday now and the regular one is on Thursday. So now we're, we're launching two a week, Tuesday and Thursday. So be on the lookout for that. Um, let's see. Bryce is on. Hey, Bryce. Seth and Bryce, awesome. Um, what uh, what questions can I answer today? As I'm on the treadmill desk, Aaron, I would love to learn more about Lone Geek. Okay, so Aaron, just go to LoneGeek.io and then schedule a call with me. I'm going to give you a demo, but it's amazing. It's a set and forget it system. We take ACH. And we take credit cards. If the ACH fails, charges a credit card on file. So it's just really a set it and forget it system. It'll do the amortization schedule. Um, your borrower can log in. They can make a prepayment at any time. They can see their current balance at any time. Every pain point that I've had in the note collection business, I'm solving. And everything I hate about the note collection business, I'm getting rid of. Like I hate note setup fees. This is one big thing of, of water here. Check payments. Yeah, that's what ACH is, Aaron, are check payments. So um, it's the same thing. So th we'll get the check, we'll get the routing number and account number on file. It'll get processed. It'll automatically go every single month for ACH or check payments. If the check bounces, then it'll charge the credit card as a backup on file as well. How did you get that messenger plugin on your website, Frontier Properties USA? Dot com. How did you get that messenger plugin? Um, I think, I don't know. I have to look. You know, Seth, we got so many crazy geeky things going on. I have to, I have to look at it. Oh, look who's on. Good morning, Danielle Dival. How are you? Danielle and I, we, Danielle, we still had our call in 14 minutes, which I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, I would just get someone on Fiverr to do it for sure, which is probably what I did anyways. Um, so, Danielle, how many do we have right now for boot camp? And is there any more room in that in that room? If you haven't signed up for boot camp yet, go to thelandgeek.com forward slash boot camp. But Danielle will tell us what, how much time we got. Um, let's see. I love the idea of putting... Facebook Messenger on our website and have not seen that on any other website. Oh, I know what you're saying. Okay. So I use a program called ManyChat, um, ManyChat.com, and then they give you a widget, and then that's how you do that. All right. Here's Eric Volkers. We buy land in exclusive zip codes, build brand new, and then sell. Eric, that's not really a question. Do you have a question? All right. 60. We can squeeze a couple more in, but you but you only have until Friday to sign up. Okay, so two more days to sign up, um, and then boot camp for Vegas is closed. Closed. Awesome. But very happy with 60, Danielle. Yeah, we're getting spammed. We're getting spammed. It's crazy. I love it. David Benalis, when are we going to do our uh, – did you get that link? We were going to talk about scarcity mentality and abundance mentality. Or maybe we'll just do it another time. Did you ever get that, that B? 
be live link? Oh, look who's on. Scott Todd. I'm so excited, Scott, for that accounting um, course. I can't even tell you because it's such a pain. This time of year, everyone needs it. Nope, no link. You know, I sent it to David Benalis at thelangeek.com. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that Langeek email is just so slow. I don't know. Sorry about that. Um, does anybody have any questions? Scott Todd is on. Dave Benalis is on. Danielle's on. Who's, who's got a, a, a land investing question? Oh, by the way, Scott, uh, the, the next flight school class starts tomorrow. If you're interested in flight school, uh, schedule a call with David or Mike at thelangeek.com forward slash training and get in on the next class in May. All right, here he is. Live now, scotttodd.net slash accounting. I love it. I love it. All right, so Kendrick Hudson, how do you pick the areas to buy in? So basically what we want to do is we want to know definitively that there's deals being done there, right? So basically what we'll do with our county research is look for areas where we know definitively there's deals being done. So the easiest way to do that is usually going on like a site like landandfarm.com or um, landsofamerica.com and then just seeing, okay, looks like in this county in Florida, there's a lot of deals being done. Right, um, it's it's really not more complicated than that, actually. So, and then the simplifile is it a simplifile county as well? I love simplifile. I don't know, Scott. Is, do you need anything else? You Google it. Maybe Google um, certain areas, but you know, if you're if you're not getting um, a sense that there's a lot of raw land sellers in that area, you're probably not in a great area. But we talk a lot about that. We like in, at boot camp, we go like, go like go really deep on that. All right, Aaron. So how do you not run out of money to buy land? More down out what you sell or bigger monthly payments? Well, Aaron, you know, we sell everything on terms. So eventually we run out of money, right? So what we'll do is we'll sell our note, 12 months of our cash flow to an investor. We'll get our money out and we'll redeploy that capital into a new deal. Um, if we really need, you know, a, like let's say a big deal, um, we, we might just, you know, borrow. Because when you're making 300 to 1,000%, I can borrow at 24%. It doesn't matter at that point what I borrow at. So that's another way to do it. All right, Scott Todd, eBay sales. Who's doing eBay sales? I don't even understand that question. eBay. Oh yeah, you can look at eBay. Oh, for county research, eBay, eBay sales in that area. All right. So how do you determine value? How do you determine value? So as far as what we're going to pay for that property, we'll take a look at the comps. Right, and we want to have this what I what Warren Buffett calls a massive margin of safety. So if the properties are selling, and we'll know this by calling the assessor, right? But if let's say on average the properties are selling for ten thousand dollars, then the most we want to pay for that property, we're going to divide by four, is twenty five hundred dollars. That gets a, a three hundred percent margin of safety of return on investment. So worst case scenario, we can liquidate at a three hundred percent margin. So Kendrick, does that help? That's for cash. That's for cash. And that's also including the back taxes. So if they owe, let's say, in this scenario, comps are 10, I, I offer 2,500. We start doing due diligence. It looks like, oh, they owe $500 of back taxes. Then the most we pay to that seller is $2,000. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. Any other questions? We got eight minutes. We got eight minutes before um, we have to end coffee talk. Hope you're drinking some coffee. Comps divided by four. Exactly. That's exactly what we do, right? Now, if you if the comps are all over the place and you can't get a, a 
you know, a sense of it, essentially, then you could take the median value and divide by four. I actually like taking the lowest number and dividing by four. Now, we want to get a response rate of three to five percent on our offers, right? If it's lower than three percent, then we're probably too low coming out of the gate. If it was over the, oh, higher than 5%, we probably offered too much and we probably need to retrade going back to our sellers and be like, oh, you know, I didn't realize this or that. This is really the most I can offer. So those are going to be some good metrics to know when you're, when you're doing that. And actually, Kendrick, I have a, a web class on this. So I think it's, if you go to the landgeek.com, um forward slash free training you can you can register for the web class any specific list to mail any specific list to mail i don't any specific list to, i don't know i don't think i understand the question any specific list to mail okay got clouds get to boot camp the clouds will clear i had clouds they clear that's true all the land investing clouds in your head dissipate and everything becomes clear at boot camp. And John Patton is going to be there. John's got an amazing story. An amazing story. John, I hope you're, hope you're doing well. Lo love seeing you on these coffee talks. All right, Aaron, for your information, don't blow up Facebook with Scott's new auto tool. You will get banned for posting in groups. Great tool if you listen to what Scott says in his videos. That's good. That's really good advice, Aaron. Thank you. Danielle, there it is. We you got two more days to register and then the doors are closing. The doors are closing. Devin's gonna be there. I can't wait. It's so fun, Devin, to to, uh, to meet everybody in person too. It's 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 a really great weekend. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And again, all your land investing clouds are gonna dissipate. Scott Todd, how does Aaron know? Yeah, Aaron, how do you know about don't blow up Facebook with Scott's new auto tool? Because I got banned. Uh oh, that's not good. So how do you get unbanned? Yeah, if you guys aren't uh, automating your postings with Craigslist and uh, Facebook, go to postingdomination.com forward slash land geek. David Benalis, John Patton is a man. I am scared of getting his messages in the afternoon asking me what I did today to build systems. I love it. I love it. It's only a two-week thing. Oh, okay. Well, that's not terrible. Facebook can put you in timeout for one hour up to 21 days from the Facebook whisperer himself. For those of you who have the toolkit, it has been updated. We're also updating the uh, due diligence course uh, this week. So don't forget to log in and see all the new information there, all the updated information. We have a new Facebook course. Uh, we will be updating the Craigslist course with Scott Todd as well. And we are improving, we are, we've already improved the due diligence course um, way, way better, way, way better. So um, be, look, be on the lookout for that. I'll send it out an email when all of it's been uh, uh, deployed for sure. David Hing Dave Tingersley, as a newbie, I look forward to meeting you all at the boot camp. Yeah. Dave, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Bruce Anderson, can you create offers if you if all you have is the assessed value? Absolutely. You can take the assessed value and divide by four. Um, the problem is, is that, you know, assessed value and market value can be, you know, really two different things. But if that's all you have and you can't get a feel for the market, start out there. See what, see what kind of response rate you get and then adjust. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. So Bruce, hope that helps. Bruce, are you coming to boot camp? I don't know if he's not, if he is or not. All right. Scott Todd's going to be there. Tate's going to be there. Dave Benalis is going to be there. John Patton's going to be there. Tom Willis is going to be on, I think it's his seventh boot camp. He's going to be there. Um, it's great. It's great. 
All right. No, not this time. Flight school. Oh, okay. Good. Flight school is going to be amazing. Amazing. Um, the beautiful thing about flight school, Bruce, is that it's it's not academic. You will be doing the work in real time and having Scott right there helping you answer your questions in real time. There's nothing else like it because we all know the best way to learn is to do. And the problem with any kind of home study course is that you kind of get paralysis analysis and it's really hard to execute. This is forcing you to execute in real time. I love flight school. Yeah, we're, Aaron, if you go to lanky.com forward slash bootcamp, we've already booked for Orlando in October. So we will be there. You And actually, you can register for the October boot camp now in Orlando. Did you get your self-journal yet? I have not gotten the journal yet. I need to. I need to get it for sure. Seth, it was a great tip. Um, put that put that journal in, in the in the comment section again so we can all go to the link. Executing the 12-week year with this journal. Amazing, amazing. I love it. Danielle, you know what we should do is we should actually have this as like a glue gift is this journal for all the new coaching clients to help them with their 12-week year. It's not a bad idea. All right, one more minute. One more minute. Any, anything else? Well, I just want to thank everybody for jumping on these uh, these live coffee talks. I really appreciate it. It'd be really lonely if I were here by myself. And, um, and hopefully... Everyone's getting value out of this and, and getting their 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 questions answered and things are becoming clear. They're getting value. So all we want to do is give value. Um, again, don't forget about uh, the podcast. And if you subscribe, rate, and review the podcast, our Passive Income Model podcast, send us a screenshot of your review um, to support at thelandgeek.com. We're going to send you for free the $97 passive income launch kit and hopefully everybody's enjoying the new uh round table segments and here is the link um to get that that journal from seth so awesome awesome the 12 geek year that's exactly it they're in the 12 geek year thomas do it more often all right I, I like I like the enthusiasm there. All right, well I want to thank everybody. And uh sounds like yeah. I I already have a book. Uh it's already it's already done, Aaron. I'm still editing it, called Dirt Rich, which is like my story and kind of talks about the land investing business. Um hopefully it's not total crap. Writing a business book is really hard. Um, the problem with writing a business book is that you take these simple ideas and then you got to wrap like 200 pages around them with anecdotes and science and stories and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, really, it's a very simple idea. Want to make money in the land investing business? Mailing and marketing. It's one page. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Aaron. Um, and uh, we'll see everybody next week. And hopefully, Dave and I will get on a call today and do a, a live Q&A. All right. Thanks, everyone.